Hi guys, it's Erin. Um, today we are going to do a six month post op update. Um, sorry, I have not posted a video in two Fridays in a row now. Um, I've had a horrible flare up with my fibromyalgia, so I have been in terrible pain and I apologize. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> that may be just now watching my videos um, I am I was six months six months post-op on April 5th I had my surgery October 5th 2016 um, at my highest weight I was 293 um, with the two-week liquid diet prior to surgery um, I got down to on surgery day I was 256 and today I am 209. So I am a slow loser, which is fine, but it's a little frustrating right now. Um, so <clears throat> we did take a two week, or two week, we did take a Disneyland vacation a couple weeks ago and I did not make the best choices. So I'm sure that played a part on it. Um, I haven't gained, but I'm not losing. I'm pretty much steady at the same within a one to two pound difference. It is really hot in here. I'm in the car waiting for my daughter. Um, so yeah, so today I went to my um, surgeon uh, for my six month post-op visit. Um, his name is Dr. Aslami. He's out of Folsom, California, and um, he's amazing. Was a little nervous because I haven't lost any weight since January, the last time I saw him, but um, my labs were amazing, he said. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm sure these people are staring at me like I'm weird because I'm in the car. Um, anyhow. He said my labs were amazing and he was a little baffled, I guess you could say, at why I'm not losing weight, but I did mention I do go to the gym four to five days a week. Some days I do cardio, well actually I do cardio every day, but depending on the day, I'll do my elliptical um, first always, I always do that first, and then I do either leg day or arm day. So he said it could be I'm getting muscle and um, that's why I'm not losing but we're not really sure. So he set me up with a dietitian appointment. I'm not sure I have the carbs situated correctly. Um, I'm not specific on the amount of carbs I'm allowed to have per day. I know that the protein is 65 grams or more a day. I get close to that, but not fully. And the, I'm gonna turn on the air because it's ridiculous. Um, Carbs, 65 grams a day. The fat, I'm not sure what you're supposed to stay, like um, amount per day, if any. So I need to find that information out and that could be the reason why because I don't have this, the information um, of amount of carbs and sugar and, well no sugar, but the amount of carbs and fat per day I'm allowed to have. I think that's all messed up and so I'm just kind of doing whatever I think is right, which obviously is not right because I'm not losing. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, May 10th, I have my dietitian appointment, and then I see him the next day, so we'll go from there. Um, I feel pretty good. The only thing I'm having a problem with is, yes, I lost 84 pounds already, but I keep forgetting that because I lost the weight doesn't mean that my autoimmune disorders go away, such as my fibro. Um, which I'll make a video about that stuff, but my joints are just hurting so bad and I think I can do more than I can do. And yes, I lost the weight and I have more energy, but I have flare ups, which I've been in one this third week now. And it's where my neck connects to my, my shoulders right in the center there. It's, oh, the pain is terrible. It's like an aching pain, but it lasts all day long. It never goes away. And I only take Tylenol um, because that's really all you can have and that's not cutting it. I tried ice packs, I've tried heating pad. It's just like no relief. And so that's the part that's frustrating is I'm getting no relief um, of the pain and then that puts me in a bad spot. So that's really the only thing that's uh, making this difficult. Um, I will go to the gym, you know, through to, well, four to five days a week usually. And the next day, because of my fibro, I am like it's so tired. 
my body aches really bad, um, but I just keep pushing through and going again. <laughs> so, I mean, they say with that, you are going to feel exhausted, but if you sit, it's worse. If you sit and do nothing, it's worse. So, usually summertime is pretty good. Um, during the winter time, my joints are really bad and it's really hard to move around. I wake up and I can barely move. It just depends. But overall, with the surgery, I feel really good. I feel healthy. I have energy. So, other than the joint issues that I have, um, everything's been going pretty well. Um, i trying to think if there was anything else. Um, I won't have another lab work for another six months, he said, but I got the paperwork today just to have it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm not sure, other than May 11th, when I go after the dietitian appointment, I'm not sure... Um, when I go next, it might be nine months, I think it is, but I'm not positive. So there'll be an update then. I'll probably do an update on this, um, around the 10th or 11th when I find out from the dietitian exactly what I'm doing or not doing right. I'm um, hoping to get some information, but from now until then, I'm going to try and switch some stuff up. I have been eating a few things I should not be, um, like snacks, certain snacks that probably not a good idea. But I have noticed that um, there's not a lot of foods that don't agree with me, which scares the heck out of me. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, about, I mean, it could be head hunger. I feel hungry a lot, but then I can only eat small, little, small things. So I don't know. I'm a little scared. But I should be good. I'm not going to go back to where I came from, that's for sure. That, that's not a good not was not a good situation in my life and I did not go through this surgery to go backwards so I'm gonna keep on pushing I don't care what I have to do yeah so anyhow that is all I have today on my six month post-op um, I did get some um, um, comments about the music being too loud on my videos so today I'm gonna do no music but I'm gonna try I have not been able myself to edit my own videos. My daughter does it for me, and I need to find a program, editing program that's free and is super easy to use. So if anybody that watches these has any information on free editing program, let me know, please, because I want to try and do it myself so I don't have to wait for my daughter. She has her own YouTube channel. She has to edit her own videos, and I'd like to be able to do it myself and possibly make it the music that we had on here uh, was at the lowest volume other than being no music so we need to figure something else out I kind of like the music in the background a little bit so um, yeah so if anybody has any information on free editing stuff I can use for the computer um, that would be great I would appreciate it I need to figure this out on my own I am 40 years old and asking my daughter to do that stuff for me I should be able to do it by myself so yeah, so I do appreciate the comments. I do have a few people that follow me that um, are um, bariatric patients that um, I like to hear what they do and I watch their videos and then I love to hear from them about my videos and you know if anything helps them or if they have any um, ideas for me. Yeah, I'm all about it. So if you are not subscribed, please, please subscribe and um, like or comment. I love comments. I love to hear from other people. Yeah. And then all my social media is linked in the description. It's always T and R's mommy. And, um, yeah. So that's all that I have for today. It's just kind of a short <laughs> in the car video while I'm waiting for my daughter to get out of school. And I probably won't edit anything on this. Just raw, just how it is. Hopefully you can hear me over the air. I am dying of heat in here. And so I had to turn the air up. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to try and go back to every Friday, just had a little hiccup these last two Fridays, and I'm going to also try and figure out, my camera is only, only, uh, it's not a rear facing on my regular camera, like this, I'm doing this on my phone, um, you can't face it towards you to make sure that you're in the picture, so you can't see that, but I need to try and do my videos on there, so I'm going to attempt to try and figure that out. So then I could just load them on my computer. It'd be a little bit easier. Yeah. So 
All right, guys, I will talk to you uh, next Friday. I hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.